is the midpoint of the line segment joining the points P and Q. Find the values of A and B. So we're told what the midpoint is. We have one of the endpoints P, but we don't know the precise coordinates of point Q. Okay, we're trying to work out these values of A and B here. So the midpoint is just the middle of the line or the line segment. And to work out the midpoint, you have to add the two x values together, divide by two, and add the two y values together and divide by two, just like how I've written in the formula over here, okay? So we're going to use that idea to form an equation that we can then solve to find the values of a and b, okay? So let's pretend we were trying to calculate the midpoint of the line segment joining P and Q. You would take the two x values here, negative seven and a, you would add them together and then you would divide by two, okay? Then to work out the y value of the midpoint, you would take the two y values, so four and b, add them together and then divide by two again. So that is how you would calculate the midpoint of this line segment. Except in this question, we actually know what the midpoint is, it's over here. So you can put this calculation equal to your midpoint. Now, since these are equal to each other, we can look at the x calculation and put it equal to the x coordinate, okay? And that will give us a little equation where we can solve to find the value of a. Okay, so I'm going to put that calculation, negative seven plus a over two, equal to three over two. So if I'm solving this equation, it's a nice one because the denominators are the same, which means the numerators are the same. So I can just write negative seven plus a is equal to three. And then if I add seven to both sides, I can find out that a is equal to 10. Okay, so that's the x coordinate of point Q. Okay, now, for the y coordinate, we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to look at the y calculation, so 4 plus b over 2. And this time, it has to equal negative 11, because that's the y coordinate of the midpoint. Now, if I'm solving this equation, first I want to get rid of this fraction here. So to do that, I'm going to multiply everything in the equation by 2. So if I multiply the left-hand side by 2, this cancels, and I'm left with 4 plus b. On the right-hand side, if I multiply by 2, I've got negative 22. And then all I need to do at the end is subtract 4 on both sides, which gives me negative 26. Okay, so that is the y-coordinate of Q. And that's it.